The global spread of new coronavirus has put global health in great danger and caused rapid changes in existing healthcare systems and industry in almost all over the world. Humanity is waging war against COVID-19. In this wartime, people experience changes that could not have been imagined in normal times and even break conventional taboos. These changes could bring so-called a new normal in the post-COVID-19 era. Then what exactly is the post-corona era? To discuss changes caused by COVID-19, we have to know how long the pandemic will persist. Recently, the Korean authorities temporarily eased the regulations on telemedicine and delivery of drugs, which is illegal in Korea, to prevent further spread of, of, of the virus. Also, the health authorities in other countries, including the US and Japan, have relaxed regulations temporarily. And the assumption under the temporary easing the regulations is that COVID-19 will end in the near future. However, a considerable number of experts warn that COVID-19 pandemic would not be over within this year and it could even prolong for more than a couple of years. It is still uncertain when researchers will complete the development of COVID-19 vaccine or treatment. Actually, COVID-19 control and prevention of South Korea have been uh, relatively successful than those of the other countries. But even so, it is impossible to make South Korea completely free of the COVID-19 amid a continued global pandemic. Moreover, after the COVID-19 crisis, another genetic disease will threaten human almost inevitably sooner or later. Therefore, no matter how temporary the impact of COVID-19 for years will never be short-lived. It is highly likely that we may not go back to the days of the past. However, as humans have adapted to changing environments so far, I have no doubt that we will find the answer eventually. Humans will find another normal day in a new situation and take those days for granted as if they were completely normal. This new equilibrium that humans discover will become a new normal. The healthcare will be at the center of the new normal in the post-corona era because the new normal itself will be resulted from the infectious diseases. The most fundamental change in a healthcare sector is the increased awareness of the health. People take it for granted that they are healthy and make the little efforts or spend little money to stay healthy. However, in the time of the pandemic, being healthy is no longer normal or the default mode. It is indeed a fundamental change to realize that the health is something that can be lost at any time when people cannot go outside and everyday life is impossible without a mask. In the post-corona era, three keywords in the healthcare are on contact and scalability and cost effectiveness. Because infectious diseases spread by human-to-human -human contact, healthcare services that reduce face-to-face -face meeting will draw attention. Such non-contact services include health management using chatbots, AI speakers, and IoT, as well as telemedicine. For example, Peloton's at-home cycling program earned instant popularity in the US, where many homes were in lockdown due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The company sells a stationary bike with a monitor on, and the user pays subscription fees to participate in an online spinning class at home. This cycling program is one of the best examples of on-contact healthcare management. The scalability is another critical keyword. Pandemic causes population-level health problems. Confirmed patients with the viral infection are relatively small compared to a total population. However, people with chronic illnesses who cannot visit the hospital because of the fear of viral infections or people who feel depressed or anxious because of the virus are common across the entire population. Therefore, a solution should be easily expandable to the population level. In this category, software-based solutions such as digital therapeutics, which has almost a zero marginal cost, can be successful. For example, a diabetic management application or depression treatment chatbot could provide medical benefits for the large population 
in a situation like a COVID-19 pandemic because they can be easily expanded to population level compared to hardware devices or conventional pills. Livongo, a US provider of software-based diabetes management solutions, enjoyed a rapid sales growth amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, healthcare services or products should have cost-effectiveness in the post-corona era. Having the high effectiveness compared to a low cost is desirable in almost all cases. When providing healthcare services, however, and offering non-contact ones in particular, the cost-effectiveness is all the more critical. This is because services could reach the entire population. And also, to receive government support, such as Korea's National Health Insurance, the US Medicare and Medicaid, and the UK's National Health Service, healthcare products or services must prove excellent cost effectiveness. The world is going through the COVID-19 pandemic and experiencing unimaginable changes. We will eventually find the answer, but it will take quite a while to reach the other side. In this process, we will find a new equilibrium as we embrace new daily lives, new values, new standards, and new technologies. And this is the new normal. In fact, humanity has always been through this process. However, this time the speed is breakneck because of the external shock and the change is progressing in a compressed manner. The COVID-19 virus has given us unprecedented external shock, forcing us to change regardless of our will. Healthcare is a sector in which extremely many stakeholders are involved. However, such a massive shock from the pandemic has moved the medical community a little by a little to change. In this time of the chaos, I hope we could wisely align our interests among the stakeholders and make the crisis as an opportunity to create a more desirable healthcare for the new normal of the post-corona era. Thank you very much.